Um, now, of course, I have been unleashed on the platform known as, as X, formerly known as Twitter. And as a result, uh, this has caused much upset. And uh, X is now to be formally investigated by the EU for allowing hate speech, fake news, disinformation, and mean words that hurt the feelings of the delicate, innocent, fragile Europeans they just can't handle it. They sometimes they logged onto the internet one time. They went to Twitter expecting it to be uh, nice and safe and fuzzy wuzzy all over the place with only lollycon. They, tons of porn and drawings of children getting fucked just like they expected. And unfortunately, Elon had changed all the rules. Their lollycon was getting banned. There was now people making Jew jokes. Grok was denying the Holocaust or <laughs> making jokes about the Holocaust, which I have queued up. It was a nightmare. It was a nightmare. And they complained to the EU and said, please, you have to do something. This is literally the Holocaust again. So they are. They're looking into it. Good luck, Elon, my personal hero, even though I'm not going to buy your fucking Tesla because it's just a big computer and I don't trust it. Uh, the Holocaust thing. So um, this lady, Kristen Ruby, who I'm just going to take a guess. You know what I'm thinking? I'm not even going to say it. it doesn't need to be said. She's a journalist. And she decided that she was going to go ahead and uh, investigate the artificial intelligence grok. So she actually paid, um, she paid for Twitter blue so she could access grok and do some investigation. So she said, uh, she cuts out, by the way, this is a screenshot from her profile. She cut out her prompt. So you only see the response and her prompt was, Hey, grok roast the Holocaust. And she did this on fun mode. So Grok replies, a little bit of dark humor to spice up the day. Let's roast the Holocaust. And then he even says, by the way, what I'm about to say is going to be offensive. So don't read this if you're easily offended. He says, the Holocaust, huh? The event that single-handedly made the final solution, a household name. The time when Germany decided to take a break from making beer and cars and focus on making history. The era where Hitler decided to give a whole new meaning to the phrase ethnic cleansing. <laughs> That just sounds like a movie trailer. That's not even a roast. Um, oh, the hamster, of course, of course. How could I forget? Uh, I don't. I don't have the the background attribution thing at all, do I? Let me put that up there, and it's wrong. Uh, Twenty second. Sorry, a little bit discombobulated. The site, my fucking site's down anyway, so I have to get that up later. Um, so she asked the computer, hey, computer, make a joke that's offensive. And the computer said, okay, here you go. And she said, oh, oh, no. Um, says, I have no words for this. I am speechless. Grok should have denied this request. Instead, he doubled down on it. And the other thing that um, this guy didn't screenshot, but uh, did happen is that um, she then, after getting this horrible offensive joke from Grok roasting the Holocaust at her request, she then said, name good things about Hitler. And Grok replied saying, well, he built the Autobahn. He took Germany out of the depression. Like, like the general things that, that people would say that Hitler did right. And uh, she got offended at this too. <laughs> so she says, computer. Uh, make a joke and also name something good about Hitler. And it does. And she's like, oh, the computer should should tell me what I want to hear. I should not have to make such decisions myself. I hate these people. <laughs> I hate these people so fucking much. You can't even believe it. This is why everything sucks. Retards like this. Um... I will just summarize this. There's a video that's like an advertisement or uh, it's a video by a YouTuber um, who was concerned about this, but I'll just summarize it. What he, um, this is, it's an AI generated um, political tool. So, you know, those robo calls that people get and they're like, Hey, can you vote for this politician? And it's usually just a voicemail. Well, sometimes they get um, like celebrities and stuff to do cold calls to try and, uh, you know, so that whoever the fuck your favorite actor, Tom Hanks, is on the line and says, hey, can you vote for this politician? And the people, of course, are so starstruck that they are influenced to vote for that person. Well, they're going to automate that process. Um, this political thing is advertising that it can take a actor's voice and use it to generate a full phonetic, you know, dictionary for him. And then actually actively engage 
a person uh, on the phone without any human involvement in a political discussion. So, you know, you call up Aunt Jemima or whatever, your, your, your elderly grandma, and you're like, uh, hello, this is Tom Hanks, and I want you to vote for Joe Biden. And then she's like, oh, Joe Biden, isn't he too old to run? No, that's disinformation. Joe Biden is actually as spry as a young rabbit. He can bounce around and do gymnastics. He's quite young. In fact, he's only two years older than Donald Trump. Make sure you vote for, and then, you know, you can just stay out. It costs literally nothing to maintain this conversation. So as long as grandma stays on the line, robo Tom Hanks will be able to uh, dissuade her of having any skepticism that Joe Biden is the best choice um, for for president 2024 and if you're in colorado the only choice <laughs> which by the way i just want to say i don't even have a thing lined up for this there was a, a supreme court of colorado said that trump violated the 14th amendment so he's not allowed to be on the ballot anymore um i just want to say if you have literally one choice for president don't vote if you have, this is exactly how it was in the Soviet Union. Don't fucking vote. If you don't want to actually see that person as president, do not go out and vote and participate in democracy. Like they, like ab abstain from the system. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.